Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to take you along with me as I declutter and organize some clutter hotspots in my home. So if you like a good before and after, you're going to be real inspired by this video. The first place that I'm decluttering is underneath of my kitchen sink. Now this place had become kind of annoying to use and it was hard to get to the items that I needed because I had been stashing a lot of things down here that didn't belong. So the first thing I'm going to do is just take everything out from under here, clean it up, and then put only the things back that I really needed in this space. Everything else was going to find a new home. I wanted to take a moment right now, if you are new, just to welcome you and say, I hope that you enjoy this video. My name is Emily and this channel is Queen of the Household. I love sharing things about homemaking and just being a stay-at-home mom and just all the things that have to do with making a home that I love and that my family loves being in. And so I hope that it is an encouragement and an inspiration to you as well. If you haven't subscribed, I would invite you to hit that subscribe button so that you can be encouraged as you create a home for you and your family as well. This next space in my home is the junk drawer in our kitchen. I think probably every home has one of these and they can easily get out of control. I was amazed at all the stuff that fit in this drawer. I mean, I just feel like I'm taking out more and more things and it's almost like the never ending junk drawer. There was so much in here that was just, I put it in here because I didn't know where else to put it or I just didn't feel like dealing with it and so it had just kind of gotten out of control and you're gonna see at the end here just how much little really needed to be in this drawer. It's probably one of my favorite transformations of all the spaces in this video. So anyways, I went through all of the things, took out what didn't belong here, decided to put it where it really did belong and then you're gonna just be amazed at the after. Would you do me a favor? If you like these types of videos, then give me a thumbs up. And if you don't like these types of videos, then give me a thumbs down. That'll just help me know if I should make more videos like these in the future or not. And also, I would love for you to leave a comment and tell me what is a space in your home that needs to be decluttered and that you are feeling inspired to declutter and organize as well. This next space is our homeschool area. So I don't actually have a homeschool room, but I have this shelf that I use to hold all of our craft supplies and pencils and puzzles and just different things that we use for homeschooling. So I hadn't touched it since May and I knew that it needed to just be gone through and make sure that all the puzzle pieces were together. And then I also had a lot of paperwork that I needed to go through and just decide what I wanted to keep and what I wanted to get rid of. So you'll see me doing that as well. Last year for kindergarten, we used two main curriculums, a math one and a reading one. And I will say that I did not like our math curriculum at all, and I do not recommend it. But our reading one was really great, just as kind of a basics for getting ready to read. 
and you definitely need more than that but I will link below that reading curriculum I highly recommend it it's really simple and easy to use This space feels so much better now and I feel like I'm ready to get started planning for our homeschool for this year. This next space is underneath of our bathroom sink and it had started to get cluttered and just kind of unorganized and out of control. So I'm going through here and just taking out the things that we're not using anymore. And I wanted to mention one of my favorite decluttering and organizing books is Make Room for What You Love by Melissa Michaels. And one of my favorite ideas or quotes from there is that a lot of our clutter is really just delayed decisions. So when we just decide to put things in cupboards and closets and not deal with them, we're really just delaying the decision about what to do with that item. So that's something that has helped me minimize a lot of clutter is just deciding I'm going to make a decision about this right now instead of waiting a week or a month or even a year later and it taking up space. This last space that I'm organizing is my side of the closet and it wasn't too bad but it was starting to get hard to get to different clothes items and my shoes were a mess so I decided to organize this pretty quickly and I actually didn't film myself organizing it and decluttering it. The lighting in here is kind of weird so I just have a before and then I have an after to show you. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment below and tell me what space you are currently decluttering and organizing. And be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on the next video that I'll be sharing. I love to share things all about the home and encourage you and inspire you to create a home that you love. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.